Another example, of course, remember the promise made before the last election. Vote Labor, everything gets better when it comes to the economy. Reality is, there have now been 11 interest rate rises, thankfully no more after the Reserve Bank made its decision today, but this was the promise that's still available on Albo's Twitter feed. A Labor government will lower the cost of living. Ask yourself, what's got better since this bloke was in power? Which would be why an opinion poll yet again confirms what we told you last night, that people really, they're through the BS phase of this bloke. He's gone from being the second coming to just another politician and a pretty slippery one on top of it. 48% of Australians say we're headed in the wrong direction. 33% of people say we are headed in the right direction. And 19% are unsure. To give you an idea, the older you get, the more sensible you get because you've lived a life where you know things were better at a different time. It's just 18 to 34-year-olds who currently think the country's headed on the right track with a bare majority, but even then they can't crack 50. 49% of people, 35 to 54, right in the middle of the mortgage belt, well, surprise, surprise, they say the country's heading in the wrong direction. And 54%, the majority of people over the age of 55 who know best, because they've seen it all, they say the country's heading in the wrong direction. If the only people who think the joint's currently running in the right direction are the people who are starting out in life but not having the same financial burdens as their parents or grandparents, what a giant surprise that it's the teals and the greens who would like to lower the age of voting in this country. Because, of course, if you don't have to pay the bills, then you're more likely to vote for the people who say, money's free, everyone can have whatever they want.